Hey everybody, Coach BK. I wanted to do a quick video instruction on two drills, and that would be zipper and fist. So, the idea with these two drills is once you have body balance down or you're continuing to work on it, um, we move into the drill area to work on technique to create some different habits in the shoulders. So, our lifestyle generally rounded forward, lack of backside rotator core strength. So these drills are going to help you understand how the shoulder blade, the arm, should move. And zipper is focusing on the recovery arm. Zipper is very similar to fingertip drag, which we'll touch on briefly. And then fist drill is, its intention is to help you to understand how to grab more water, not just with your hand, but with your forearm in here. So the fist drill really kind of goes hand in hand with maintaining a high catch elbow, okay? So those are kind of the intentions of the zipper drill and the fist drill. So with zipper drill, we need to enter into that drill with a little bit of grace for the shoulder. If your shoulder is pretty tight, it's going to be hard to not do less than optimal habits to work around shoulder tightness. So, you know, if your shoulders are pretty tight, zipper drill might be a little bit tough. And if you find that, if you find that you're really having to roll forward and do some crazy stuff with your shoulder that is not feeling good, then maybe just stick with the fingertip drag and allow, so fingertip drag is where you're dragging along the side and your fingers your fingers are actually touching the water. So when you're recovering, they're dragging along all the way to the top, right? Okay, so zipper drill is where you're starting out by your hip, okay? And you're dragging that hand with the thumb all the way to the top, zipping up, right? And then it's very close to the fingertip drag, so I'm fingertip dragging too, but I'm keeping my elbow and hand close here so you're getting, you're gonna be entering the water, you know, above your shoulder, not above your head here, but not out here. Optimally, this is the best place to maintain that high catch elbow and pull down. Okay. So that is zipper, touch starting at the hip, and zipping all the way up, fingertip drag forward, in front of your shoulder. Not here, here, not here here and then high catch elbow so the fist drill fist drill is with your hand closed so what you're doing is exact opposite of using the paddles for your pull you know the pull is meant to as we've talked about before the pull is meant to teach you how um, really gain more endurance strength in the backside so when you're pulling you're still maintaining this idea of back and pulling like around a barrel versus pulling this way and this rotating in, which is probably the number one issue with shoulders right now in swimming is this internal rotation right here. Um, and that's mostly due to lack of strength in the backside or endurance, right? We have a little bit of strength, but we don't have enough endurance with the muscles. So again, light rep, um, lightweight more rep. Okay. So, hey, Audrey. Um, fist is just where you're doing that same thing but your hand is closed okay and so if you're thinking about this barrel right here when you're swimming and you're around that barrel you're learning how to catch water here that's the intent of the fist drill is to catch water with more than just your hand feel it here and here okay so that is zipper and the fist swim drills. Again, kind of following along with body balance. Have any questions? Get with me. Hey, namaste folks.